Malo and welcome to Season 3, Episode 81 of Breakfast Bites by TableVosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports on an absolutely stunningly beautiful, bright and sunny Wednesday morning, 21 December 2022, with uh, cotton wool clouds floating across the sky, coming to you from paradise on the 180th meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In football, now that the 2022 World Cup is over, this year's tournament in Qatar leaves behind a legacy of record viewership and off-field spending. Hosted by Qatar, the biggest sports event in the world, saw fans surpass spending totals from each of the prior two tournaments. Before the quarterfinals, fans had already spent 89% of what they did at the 2018 World Cup in Russia, according to Visa, and this was despite a ban on stadium alcohol sales. Must have been buying drugs. In rugby union, Max Brito, who was paralyzed while playing for Ivory Coast at the 1995 Rugby World Cup on the wing, has died aged 54. Brito was left paralyzed from the neck down after being hurt in the third minute of Ivory Coast's pool game against Tonga in Rustenburg, South Africa. He ran the ball up against Tonga from a kick and was tackled by Noke Afiaki. While lying on the ground on his back, Brito raised his head slightly, only to be hit by the Tongan Ford pack, and that broke his spine. Rest in peace, brother. In boxing, undisputed world superweight middleweight champion, Canelo Saul Alvarez has been honored with a statue in uh, his hometown in Mexico, which was unve unveiled on Monday. I'm proud of being here with all the people that made this possible, he said, and it's proof that dreams come true. The 32-year-old Alvarez turned professional in 2005 and has racked up 58 wins, 39 by, K by way of knockout, with two losses and two draws. Alvarez has won world championships at four weight categories from 70 kg super welterweight to 90 kg middleweight, uh, sorry, to 79 kg middleweight. In Rugby League, the Broncos 2022 review. They restored some pride last season, appearing on track to make the finals before six-week nightmare quickly shut down their hopes in a finish to forget. Overall, the positives outweighed the negatives. And, th and this season should produce some clear answers going forward. Storm star Harry Grant has teamed up with former Geelong Premiership captain and AFL legend Joel Selwood, who coincidentally has joined the Storm as a leadership consultant, as ambassadors for a surf life-saving uh, Australia campaign that aims to reduce drowning deaths this summer. For TableVosports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all too much for all your love and support.